Time now for a check of your North Central Washington weather forecast and winter. It arrived finally here in North Central Washington, about an inch to two inches of snow overnight and this morning. And then boy, windy conditions throughout North Central Washington. We're still under a wind advisory and this is our McNeil Canyon Sky Fi Tower Canyon, a uh, camera rather back here, Lake Chelan somewhere. You can see low clouds, some snow still falling and look at our camera very windy in the Chelan Valley. We had it here also up in Waterville and over in the Moses Lake area at least 20 to 30 miles an hour. We have a blizzard warning on top of all the snow and I do want to mention Blewett Pass closed right now. It's been closed since late this morning. Also word that Stevens Pass in a certain section of Highway 2 also closed. We are seeing blizzard conditions all up and down the Cascades. Winds there about 30 to 40 miles an hour hour, even down trees laying on the highway over in Blewett Pass. So we are experiencing that tonight. That will last until tomorrow morning. And then a couple of fairly quiet days. We're talking tomorrow, just as some light snow possible. I think Thursday, a little better chance that we'll see maybe two to three inches of snow. And then on Friday, that is when that Arctic air comes down from Canada and it is going to cool us off about 30 to 40 degrees. We'll talk about that coming it up today though high temperature the wind helped yeah 45 degrees our unofficial high that's 13 degrees above where we should be at 32 for this time of year our record 48 degrees set in 2002 our low this morning 23 and for a long long time we're finally back to where we should be for overnight lows we've pretty much been in the 30s for the past month or so but 23 this morning three degrees below zero is our record and that was set in 1974 we picked up five one hundredths of an inch of precip now just slightly under a quarter of an inch since the first of the year and that's below normal by about four one hundredths picked up about an inch of new snow so that gets our new snow total to eight inches for the season which goes back to October 1st sunrise 747 this morning and the sun set this afternoon at 429 tomorrow's temperatures not quite as warm as today much less wind tomorrow as well 37 in Moses Lake, Afreda, Quincy, also right here in Wenatchee. We'll see just cooler temperatures then as we move a little bit farther north. Looks like OMAC and also Lake Wenatchee may be catching some of that colder air that's seeping down from Canada. Cashmere tomorrow, your high temperature, 36 degrees. Take a look at the uh, surface loop now, and this is what we're looking at. This is our current situation, and notice the pink. That is the bitter cold air, and look what happens by the time we get into Friday. The edge of that will come right down in the Wenatchee Valley. Highs in the teens, lows in the single digits from Friday right through the upcoming weekend. Tonight, you can just see the edge of some windy conditions. We did see that throughout the area today. We'll see decreases Increasing wind overnight. Some isolated snow showers are possible. Lows in the upper 20s. Really not a bad day for Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies. A chance for some light snow on Wednesday. High temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. So we're going to still stay a little bit above normal. And then Thursday, cloudy skies. Notice the area of low pressure right over eastern Washington. That's going to rotate some showers into our area. A 60% chance of snow on Thursday. About 2 to 4 inches possible. High temperatures in the low 30s. Thursday night single digits and that's going to make for a very cold Friday. 40% chance of snow on Friday. Colder high temperatures only in the upper teens as we get into Friday and there's a look at that very cold air that's seeping down from Canada. For Saturday kicking off our weekend mostly cloudy skies. We'll see about a 50% chance of snow. Our low kind of dives to the south so I think most of the precipitation will be basically from Wenatchee South. High temperatures still cold, only in the mid-teens for high temperatures Saturday. And then ending our weekend on Sunday, partly cloudy and cold, should be dry on Sunday. High temperatures still only in those mid to upper teens. And then as we get into a Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, many of you will have the day off. Bundle up if you're heading outside. Mostly cloudy, not so much snow during the day, but as we get into our evening, hours. There is that chance on Monday night. Going to stay well below
below normal too with highs on Monday near 20 degrees. All right, seven day forecast now. 28 overnight tonight, not bad tomorrow. Maybe isolated snow showers in 37. I think our better chance for snow will be on Thursday where we could see maybe two to four inches of snow. Much cooler, 32 are high, but look what happens Thursday night. Low temperature of 13 and then that bitter cold weather comes our way on Friday. 40% chance of snow and 18 for our high. Only 14 the high temperatures. We kick off our weekend on Saturday. A 50-50 chance that we'll see the white stuff. Getting into Sunday, partly cloudy, still cold in 17. Mostly cloudy with maybe an evening snow shower on Monday. Still temperatures below zero with highs then right around 20 degrees.